Hi boys and girls, today we are going to learn how to make a moist supreme pink strawberry cake. Oh, moist and delicious, yes. What you're going to need for this cake, you're going to need a box of pre-made mix, some icing, three eggs, oil, and water. water. Let's get started, shall we? Okay. So we are going to follow the directions on the back of the box. Take the dry ingredients and put them in the bowl. And we're going to add the wet ingredients to make it moist. Moist and delicious. To open the bag. All right, we have our dry ingredients already ready in the bowl. So now let's see what the next step is. All right, we are going to go ahead and add in the wet ingredients. First, we're gonna add the eggs. Now I'm going to use whole eggs today. If you only want to use the egg whites for health purposes, you can separate the yolks from the whites and just use the whites. Some people prefer it that way. Now a trick that I like to use when putting eggs in any recipe is I like to put them in a clear glass first. That way, if there are any of those nasty little eggshells in there, you can see it through the glass and make sure you separate it before you bake. Not like Dolores, my neighbor two blocks down. She doesn't know how to check for her eggshells. <laughs> it's okay. You just smile and be polite as you crunch on your cake that's not very moist. Now, I don't want you to get the wrong impression. I do like Dolores' cakes. They are moist and delicious and wonderful and kind of creative, you know, if you call creativity leaving in eggshells. <laughs> there we go. That's the third one. Now, there is a step that I already forgot to tell you, but we'll go ahead and do that now. It says to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. We have our eggs here. The other two things were all and water. I have my canola oil. That will get our batter nice and moist. Moist. <laughs> Now, just like the eggs, I'm going to go ahead and put the oil and the water in a glass first. That way it's easier to pour into the bowl. We will be putting in one cup of water and one third cup oil. Here's our water. Okay. So we're done with this water. And we're gonna go ahead and measure out our oil as well. Oh, <laughs> it's a new bottle. I forgot to open it. That would probably be a good idea to do before I start recording the video, don't you think? <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. Now, we're gonna start mixing the dry ingredients and mix in the wet ingredients to make the batter nice and moist. <laughs> now, I turn it on to the lowest setting and I just slowly pour in the eggs. And that's three. Ooh, it's getting moist already. Now I'm gonna mix in the water and oil. Now I'm just going to turn up the speed to the next level so that way it will mix evenly and that way it'll make the batter fill with air which will make the cake nice and fluffy because we like it fluffy, fluffy and moist that is. I just can't wait, it's already getting moist. I 
I wish you were here so you could smell this lovely aroma. It's so beautiful and fragrant and sweet and moist. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and turn that off and use a spatula to get all of the batter off of the edges. Oh, there's our oven. It's preheated to 350 degrees already. Look at that, everybody. Isn't that pretty? Pink and moist. Mm, delicious. Oh, <laughs> I'll finish this later. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some cooking spray and we're gonna go ahead and coat the inside of our cake pan. Now you wanna make sure and lube it up nice and good. Oh, there we go. Now that we have that lubed up nice and well with the cooking spray, we're gonna go ahead and pour the batter into the cake pan. Look at that pouring. I'm just gonna set this right over here for now. Okay, now take your spatula. Um, I just wanna lick it. <laughs> take your spatula and spread out the batter so it's nice and even across the cake pan. There we go. Isn't that lovely? I bet this is gonna bake up to be beautiful and moist. Oh, look, there's a little bit on my spatula here. I must, you know, give it a nice another little taste. I just can't help myself. Mmm. I love this moist cake. It's delicious. Okay, now that we have the cake batter in the pan, it's time to go ahead and put it in the oven. Now, once again, boys and girls, Make sure you get some adult supervision for this. Maybe ask a parent or your pimp. Okay, so let's see here. It says to set the timer for 10 to 15 minutes. There we go, the timer is set. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little tidying up and then we'll be back to check on our cake. Ten seconds left. I just can't wait for that nice, delicious, pink, moist cake. There it is. Now, what I'm going to do when you're done beeping, I'm going to go ahead and get a toothpick and stick it in and see if it comes out moist. Oh, it doesn't look quite ready yet. So I'm going to go ahead and set the timer for another five minutes. I can figure this out. Don't you worry. Don't you fret none. I will get this figured out. Okay. Timer. Five minutes. There we go. We will be right back in another five minutes to check on the cake. All right. It's done! Now I'm going to take a toothpick, stick it in the cake, and see if it's done. Because if any of the moistness comes off on the toothpick, you know it's got a couple more minutes to bake still. But if it comes out clean, then you know that the cake is done. Oh! It came out clean. I think our cake is ready. 
I'm just gonna use some nice pot holders so I don't burn my hands. Oh, look at that, boys and girls. Doesn't it look amazing and pink and moist? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this about 15, 10 or 15 minutes to cool. And we will be right back. Okay, it looks like it's done. I'm just so excited. We're gonna go ahead and frost the cake now. So first, I'm gonna open up the frosting and I'm gonna stir it up so it's a little easier to spread on the cake. Ooh, look at that white, creamy frosting. Mmm, delicious. I'm gonna take my butter knife. I'm just gonna go ahead and stir it on up. Doesn't that look delightful? Oh, my mouth is watering. Stirring. That's what we're doing. We're stirring and stirring and stirring. Oh, it's gonna be moist and delicious. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dump that. Oh, 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 there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Oh, all over the cake, look at that. White creamy deliciousness. Look at all of that icing just dripping out. Oh, look at it, look at it, oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's getting all over. I gotta clean up this this white creamy icing. I'm gonna use this spatula because it'll probably be a little faster. Oh, look at all this nice creamy white icing on top of my pink moist cake. There we go. <laughs> Mmm, delicious. It's scrumptious. I thought our cake could use a little bit more decoration, so I got some pink sugar crystal sprinkles to go right over the top. Now you can use any kind of sprinkles for this part, whatever your heart's content. And there you have it. It is our moist, supreme strawberry cake. I just can't wait to cut into this and taste it. I'm gonna get a nice corner piece here. Oh, it's so moist it cuts just like butter. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's go ahead and put that right there. Mmm, tasty. Yeah. Doesn't that look lovely? Oh, oh, it's moist, pink. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mm, so delicious. Well, that's it for our Moist Supreme Strawberry Cake. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please remember to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to comment in the comment section below and tell me what you thought. And share the video with all your friends who might need to do some cooking or baking a nice moist cake. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook, I will leave the links in the description below. Thank you for joining Cooking with Truly Scrumptious. Have a nice day, boys and girls. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, so it's me then. I'm fired.